Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. Uh, let's have a look at what's in this parcel today. I think these are rifle scopes from Sportsman Gun Centre and I think these are the new Element Helix but they're now HD quality. There are some slight specification changes as well and we've got apparently, well quite an interesting couple of quite interesting specification changes but let's open the box and enjoy it all together so I say box we've got lots of bubble wrap as usual all to tear apart make sure that's not something that we're going to see on camera store those right here we go so let's have a look at the specs on the end of these We've got, they're both Helix HD, both two to 16 by 50, both second focal plane. One is in milliradians, the other is in milliradians, but one has got the APR1C reticle and the other has the Raptor 1 reticle. Um, I think you've probably seen plenty of my videos before with the APR1C reticle. So let's have a look at this new Raptor 1 milliradian reticle. What is in the box? Element usually give a pretty comprehensive package of what they supply. Got foam on top there. Looks like we've got a couple of spacers. Perhaps they might be for a ballistic tournament. We've got Allen keys. That's a cleaning cloth. We've got Element sticker. Element do give a good manual as well. It's got lots of explanation on how to set it up, how to set the turrets up and how the reticles work. And there's a sunshade in here. That looks like a 75 millimeter. That looks like a throw lever, which you can screw into the uh, screw into the magnification collar. We've got flip-off lens caps front and rear. That's oh, they're both clear ones actually. Clear flip-off lens caps. So let's just put that to one side for the moment, because the main event is in the bag here. Pop that out of there. I suspect, I'll, uh, I suspect I'll be hanging on to these for a little while and I'll be using them on various rifles. So we've got extending rubber lens covers there. Some people prefer those to the, uh, the flip-ups. I'm a, probably I'm a flip-up guy because to be honest, I tend to lose the, uh, the stretch over ones, but we shall see. We have got Element Control, uh, it's quality guarantee on there. We've got excellent warranties on Element Optics and the point is you don't need a good warranty. It shouldn't be a, a unique selling point. Let's just see if we can pop that over. I've taken that to the wrong end, haven't I? Now, well, do you know what? It's not going back on anyway, so there we go. That's that job done. Right, let's have a look at here. We've got a very smoothly anodized 30mm tube. Now, I believe these are designed a little bit more for the hunter because we've got capped turrets here, or capped dials. Now, this one is in milliradians, so I have got six milliradians per turn of the actual dial itself. I think overall travel in these is about 100 minutes of angle, which works out at about 30 some milliradians. But we'll check that out and do that in the full review. The threads on that are quite indicative of build quality actually, because so many times you can get a turret cap like that. And these, these are the little things that say something to me. And, and you'd be fiddling with it to try and make it actually catch its thread, but those go on very easily. Now, the big deal here, if you look at that, that's where the, um, that screw comes out and you can put the throw lever in there, which allows you to control magnification a lot more quickly. But essentially, we've got a 50 millimeter objective lens for light entry, 30 millimeter tube. But the big thing is that this is now a two to 16 erector tube in it. So we've got an, basically an eight times magnification ratio. That is gonna have quite a lot of interesting beneficial features. Back in here, it's got fast focus eyepiece. Element usually give me a pretty, pretty good image actually, but the new HD glass will make an interesting, oh, that does look quite nice actually. Yeah. The Raptor reticle is probably what you'd probably call more of a hunting reticle. Being second focal plane, it's got a few aim over marks on it, which it'll be, we'll be able to have a look at those and see what that says in the instructions on that. And then there's a center dot. Now the, big, the other big factor, as well as the 8x erector tube, is that these have now got illumination on them. So I'll see if there's a battery in, there may or may not be a battery in there. It may or may not be uh, 
be live yet, but we'll do that for the full review. There is a battery and has it got a protector on it or anything like that? Sometimes they come with a little film on them that stops them going live, but uh, that would appear to be in. Again, that thread goes in there very easily. Let's put this straight up to, let's go all the way up to number six. Yes, I can see that now. We've got a really nice red dot in there in the center of the reticle. Six intensity controls and there is a, there's an off position between each one. And this is also parallax adjustable. And that goes, it says 10 meters there, but it actually goes a bit down below 10 meters. Let me just try that. Actually, that's doing parallax at about six or seven meters, if, if not slightly less actually. Let me just move that along my, uh, my wall. That's very good. That makes it ideal for air guns, rim fires, as well as center fires. Um, first impressions are now very good on this, in fact, because it seems to have a lot of things going for it. Now, there's a little red marker on there on the uh, magnification control, which will usually ally with something that says in the instruction book about the exact values of those aim over marks. Because of course, being second focal plane, the reticle stays the same in size, only the image changes in size. So the actual subtensions that the reticle offers does vary as magnification varies. It's one of the way offs between choosing first or second focal plane rifle scopes. This scope is available in some of the reticles in both milliradians and minutes of angle, but there, aren't, uh, there isn't currently a first focal plane offering, but knowing element, I won't be surprised if that does appear for, uh, for later on. So we've got a reticle guide here for the Raptor 1, um, aim over marks, these are calibrated sort of 100, 150, 200, 300 meters, 400 meters, that's for a 308, 65 Creedmoor similar markings, but of course that'll be using various magnification points on here, and depending on how you vary that, that can change slightly to adapt to your caliber by reducing or increasing magnification. That's all about, you know, actually testing, using your kit, getting used to knowing what exactly it does. Um, what else have we got in here? We've got, oh, that's quite nice. There's a little sticker there, which tells you you can put in there your zero distance and the magnification that suits you and what those aim over marks will then mean in terms of your holdover elevation control. I like that a lot, that's really neat. Now those, I won't peel them off, but they'll probably fit. Probably able to stick those either on the top of the tube or in the elevation caps, or maybe even on the back here, perhaps. Depends on what suits you. But I do like that, that's a nice feature. So getting to some of the details in here, let's have a little flick through and see what we've got. Usual setup instructions, control instructions. This shows you about fitting the throw lever here. Usually a fairly simple thing to do. Now these, right, those are the little, those are the little discs I found when I to open the box initially. Right, your Helix HD will need to be zero after you've been fitted to your rifle. First step is to remove the turret cap, caps. Yes, do that. Want to leave the turrets exposed. Right, we've included, right, I know what they are now. They're thread protectors. So if you want to leave your turrets exposed like that, they screw on and protect those threads. That is a really neat little option. So much so, I am going to put them on right now, if I can find them in the box, which I probably dropped them in here somewhere. There we go. So what they do, just empty them out. Oh, that's really good. So they just fit on over there and protect those threads from getting sort of bound up with dust and dirt, and there we go. That's really cool, I like that a lot. Well done to Element for that. Right, well let's just have a little flick through the rest of this handbook and see if there's anything particularly that we want to mention in the unboxing. This has got an explanation of how to zero your turrets, it's got an explanation of minutes of angle, milliradians, how they're actually um, angular measurements and how it changes with distance. And it also explains a little bit about reticles here, the Raptor 1 reticle. And we'll look at that in the full review. But I have to say, I'm immediately impressed. This actually shows you those little stickers I showed and how they've been filled out and how they'll suit your rifle. Some nice data sheets, some nice data sheets there because DOPE does stand for data on previous engagement. Warranty, specification sheet, uh, lifetime warranties, platinum lifetime warranty on the element scopes as usual. Spare parts, they have those if you lose caps, etc. And here we are on the back, we've got the golden 
specifications. So, 2 to 16 magnification, 30 millimeter main tube, 50 millimeter objective lens. Exit pupil is 8.5 to 3.1 millimeters. That's through the magnification range. So, it's obviously its largest at the lowest, smallest at the biggest magnification. Eye relief is 101.6 millimeters, which is about four inches. Field of view. Um, well, we can look at this at 100 yards or 100 meters. To be fair, I'm a metric guy. This is a, a milliradians version of the scope, so I'm going to work in milliradians. But you know, you can see them on screen here if you want to zoom in on that. Click value is a quarter MOA on the MOA version, the tenth of milliradian on this, and we got 15 MOA for one complete revolution on the MOA version, and this one's got six milliradians per turn there. Overall elevation. Overall elevation adjustment range, as I said, 100 minutes of angle, or I said about 30 milliradians, it's 29 milliradians. Um, windage adjustment is 45 or 13. Minimum parallax is definitely less than that because to the end of that, uh, yeah, that's about six or seven meters I'm looking there. Overall length, 340 millimeters. Overall weight, 728 grams. You can see the conversions there for the uh, Imperial fans. Right, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you can see my weekly uploads. I'm actually looking forward to using this scope because I think it has a very versatile specification, certainly through that eight times magnification range. And one thing we haven't specifically mentioned is, unlike the previous Element Helix scopes, this one is illuminated. It's also got lower magnification. We're now going to lead on to the fact that that will nicely fit a rear mounted night vision unit on it because they've usually got a little bit of implied magnification within them, both optically and digitally. So having a low two times magnification straight in from the front means you're not going to be overwhelming magnification and small field of view. And of course, depending on the light conditions, which through a night vision is going to be dark, generally speaking, is when you're going to use it, having the illumination reticle means that you're never going to lose that reticle in your field of view. Right, thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you at the British Shooting Show. Come on to the Sportsman Gun Centre stand. I'll probably be on it for one or two of the three days we're there. And if you go all the way to the end of the video, there's a link to click on. It will take you to the British Shooting Show uh, website. You can buy tickets, and tickets this year also include your car parking fee. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.